Hi folks, and welcome back to another damp and dreary day here in Norfolk. Maggie and I are out for an overnighter tonight, and in an attempt to outstage Andy, I brought along my Polish Army canvas lavu tent and wood stove. I haven't got huge amounts of daylight left. It's uh, sort of approaching three o'clock now, and really it's pretty much dark by sort of four, half four, so I haven't got huge amounts of time. Plus um, it's raining very lightly and has been on and off while I've been setting up. So I wanna get my firewood sorted out. Um, you know, I'm gonna be using this tent heater tonight to keep me warm and to cook on, so I need to have enough fuel to certainly last the evening. I'm not gonna, you know, try and keep it alight all night long, it's, it's too small. I'd be up every few hours feeding wood onto it. I've, I've got a sleeping bag that'll be adequate for temperatures tonight. It's not gonna drop below zero and that's the rating of my sleeping bag, so all is good. But yeah, I need to get wood organized.
Right, that is uh, most of the jobs done. I've still got to go and collect some water. Um, I brought my filter with me and I'm gonna get some uh, water out of the river, but it does need filtering. Um, I did bring a litre of water, but Maggie and I have pretty much drunk all of that, so we will need to get some more. Um, all the wood is collected, sawn and chopped, and I've brought it into the tent with me just so it can dry out a bit. We've had some uh, really wet few weeks leading up to this weekend, um, and everything is just soaked, as you probably saw from last my last video. Um, I had to wade through the flood water to get to where I was going. I was a bit unsure about whether I was even going to get here today, but the flood has receded a bit and um, it's not too bad. It is quite boggy and wet where I am, but um, it's not too bad where I've actually put the tent. It's on a bit of a sort of high point, so it isn't too bad. Although, as you probably saw from when I was collecting the, the wood, it's quite squelchy around and about. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how it's all set up. Plenty of room in here for, for Maggie and I. Um, I'm set up along one side. I've got my chair in here, which I'm sitting in now, plenty of room, and uh, Maggie's set up by the door where it's going to be a bit cooler for her. I've bought her bed, well, her sort of like camping mat type thing that I made for her, and I have bought a blanket for her as well, but I don't think she'll want it over her, to be honest. She's, um, you know, she's a dog bred for sub-zero temperatures, and she's got a really thick coat, double layered, downy underneath. I think she'll just be too hot in a blanket. She'll normally just wriggle out of it and, and throw it off her. So, but I've bought it anyway. Well, I think it's time to get this wood burner lit. Um, it started to rain and that temperature has just dropped. It's amazing how quick that happens. Um, just using these wood wool bundles. I'm gonna put two of them in there. And I've got a few reasonably dry twigs just to start. I've got a kettle of water on for a cup of tea while I think about dinner. I've had a little bit of a rearrange in here. I've had to take the chair down. It turns out there isn't really enough room for that chair in here. Not if I'm gonna film as well. Because of the shape of the tent, you know, obviously the sides slope like this and it pushes you to the center of the tent if you sit in the chair. Um, and uh, that was 
making it difficult for filming. But to be honest, it's so warm in here already um, that I'm quite happy to sit on the ground because the ground is a bit cooler. <laughs> it's actually raining again, um, so I've had to zip the tent door up, but I've left the bottom zip undone. So there's ventilation there, and I've left the little half moon vent on the opposite side to where the door is. If you've seen uh, videos with me using this tent before, you'll, you'll know about that. I've unzipped that as well. So there's plenty of airflow coming through. I'm gonna cook Maggie's dinner first because I'm having onion with mine. So I wanna cook hers before I put the onion in the pan. So I've got just chicken here. She's gonna have some kibble with this as well, but the chicken will just make it a bit more of a treat for her. She's uh, grown to expect <laughs> little treats whenever we go out in the woods. So, um, Bit of chicken would be nice for her. And just because it's poultry, I'm just giving my fingers a wipe with an antibacterial wipe here. Better safe than sorry. While Maggie's chicken cooks, I'm just gonna prepare mine. I'm gonna have corned beef hash for my dinner. So I've got a potato and an onion and a tin of corned beef. That's all there is to it. <laughs> and I'll probably zing it up with a bit of hot sauce or something. Right, Maggie's chicken is done. So I'm just gonna transfer that into her bowl and that can just cool a bit while I get on and cook mine. Maggie her dinner, not yet. There you go, girl. I think it's fair to say I should have bought a bigger cutting board. <laughs> Everything I cut I'm having problems with.
that looks good which is more than I can say for the pan which I'm going to have to try and clean now <laughs> oh I'm really hungry hmm. I've got some PCF wild here which has got wild chilies, Thai chilies, habanero, vinegar, sea salt and gum. Have a little blast of that. Well, I've got my hot chocolate with just the teeniest little drop of brandy in it, just to keep the chill off. I'm gonna drink this up and I'm gonna turn in. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night.
Morning folks, it's about half past seven in the morning. Uh, slept, slept pretty well actually, got a bit cold uh, just sort of before dawn. I woke up about, I don't know, half past four, five o'clock maybe. Um, and I was quite, quite cold so I just wriggled down to my sleeping bag. You know, zip, zipped my sleeping bag right up, pulled the, pulled the hood over and, um, and it was all good. Yeah, but apart from that, slept well. I think Maggie was all right. I think she was ready to get out of the tent this morning. Probably needed a needed a pee, I should imagine, as did I. Yeah. Made a cup of coffee, which is well needed this morning. And um, I've just got some sausages on to cook for breakfast. So uh, that'll be good. We're just gonna have some sausage flatbreads. Should be just, just the job for breakfast this morning. Yeah, it's a bit overcast today much like it was yesterday, but I don't think it's supposed to rain until this afternoon, so fingers crossed we'll, uh, we'll avoid that. That'd be good. Well, I'm going to get my breakfast finished off here and get things sorted out. I'm not packing away straight away because I'm here for a few more hours yet. I'm going to be filming another video while I'm out here. So I'll leave you a little teaser for that in the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Just, that is like shredded turkey, that is. Wow. <laughs>